Alright, so this video is just going to be me talking about the business and how it's going so far, plans for the future, things like that. This is actually the second one of these videos I've made, but the first one I made it just before Christmas and I got wrapped up in a whole bunch of different commissions so I wasn't able to actually get to the video and finish it. I could have, but I got lazy. I was working on other stuff and it just didn't seem as important. So I put that on the back burner and I didn't actually get to it. So this is going to be the first one of these I actually put out. There's not going to be any painting in this, just going to be me talking about the business, how it's going, plans for the future, and things like that. So it's going pretty well so far. Around Christmas time, just after Christmas, the New Year's, the first, first like two-ish months, I was just non-stop commissions. I would get several commissions, and by the time I was done with those, I'd get more. And it was just non-stop. It was awesome. Uh, so things have kind of slowed down, so I'm getting back into the video aspect. For Christmas, I got a badass camera, so I'm able to start recording again. I kind of stopped recording because all I had was this little webcam, which works for things like this, but if you're trying to get the fine detail on the minis, it's just, it's not good enough. So I put that on the back burner and I stopped doing that, but I'm going to get back into it again. The first video I made with the new camera is actually the How to Paint a Clone Trooper video. So that worked out pretty well, but I did it with a tripod. It was off to the side. It was at a really weird angle for me to f see what I was doing and record the video properly. So I think uh, in other videos I'm going to do from a top-down angle. I got this new stand, kind of just a plastic thing. I'm going to end up punching a hole through the center of it, putting the camera on that. I think that'll work out pretty well. That'll have the angle right where I want it, where I can see it and I can record it. And the resolution of the camera is awesome, so I can actually have it kind of high up and zoom in. That'll be real nice. So, last year was the first time I ever had to file taxes for the business, so that was neat. That was new. I just went to H&R Block, had them help me out. I keep good track of my numbers, so I just gave them all my information, had them punch it in. Ended up not getting anything back, but I never ended up getting anything back, so it's whatever. So I was having a lot of issues with the 3D printers. I thought that would be a real good addition to the business, printing off either pieces of terrain with the, I guess, well, I have a resin printer and I have a filament printer. That's the word I was trying to think of. And the filament printer has broken, and it has not paid for itself yet, so that wasn't a good investment on that part. But they have cheaper models out there, which I think would do a lot better. So, the resin printer, I've actually just recently got the test print to work. These little rook things. The Elegoo Mars is the name of the printer brand I got. And it turned out real freaking well. I mean, this is like the fourth attempt, but you can see just how detailed that is. And it's, it's impressive. But I just recently tried to print a bunch of Baby Yodas, and they didn't turn out terrible, but they didn't turn out great either. First glance, you think like, ah, oh, that turned out pretty well. And then you look a little bit closer and you realize, oh, that base is kind of wonky, huh? Yeah, it is. And there's a lot of little uh, indents and divots where it had supports that didn't come out properly. So... I'm printing them again. I actually printed three at a time, and this was the only one that kind of stayed stuck to the base. The other two just the supports printed, then it just fell off and messed up. So that didn't turn out well. So far, I haven't been able to sell anything that I printed with the resin printer, but I'm still I still hold out hope for that one. It wasn't as expensive as the filament printers, but the filament printers are a lot easier to work with. Their resin printers are one thing if you don't actually do a whole lot of research before you buy them. They're pretty toxic if you don't handle them properly. There's a bunch of videos out there on how to do it right and be safe with it, so I figured that out after I bought it. But the filament printers, I think, are what I'm going to start focusing on. The main goal of this business is to make it a functioning business that would have the income to be able to make it legit. Focus all my time on it as opposed to an actual normal uh, job type setting. So I'd like it to have more of an income. 
that's the main focus right now. So I think what I'm going to do is all the income from painting and selling minis, I'm going to put that aside until it is enough to buy another filament printer. And then get just an army of those printing around the clock, uh, tabletop terrain or anything else that it turns out I can sell. And add that to the profit margin of the business. I think that's going to be the most realistic way to do it. Because painting minis is great, the income from it is actually pretty good, but it's very time intensive. You can't really be doing a whole lot else, you have to sit there and focus on that. So if I can have the printers running while I do other things, like make videos or, or do anything else that's relevant, that'll work out pretty well. I did get a bunch of products and I put those up. Uh, those have not turned a profit yet, but they're still up there. They're not going anywhere, they're not hurting anything. It takes time to sell stuff. So those could very well end up being a small source of revenue for the business, so that'll turn out pretty cool. Time will tell on that one. I kind of gave up on Twitch, mainly being the high definition camera I have doesn't... it won't like live stream it to the computer, and it says it does Wi-Fi, but not very well, so Twitch is just not really relevant right now. So I can't do Twitch, but I'm doing YouTube, still doing the Instagram, still got the eBay store, the Facebook store. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to try to push out at least one of these a month on top of the painting tutorial videos. And we'll see. If people find it interesting and it gets views and people like it, I'll keep doing them. If not, I'll probably just focus my efforts on something else. But you never know if you don't try. So I'm putting this out there. See if anyone cares at all about it. Yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more or if you're interested in the business or how I'm going about doing it or if these are really boring and you want to see something else let me know that too I'm cool with that all right thanks thanks for watching thanks for putting up with me have a good one